good man, right? Okay, watch out. Have not. They're dead. Where are you? Catch me. Yo, what's up? You got your boy Chell Fucker coming at you live from the captain's chair. Y'all know exactly how I do it. <laughs> and I'm doing it with a needle in my ass. <laughs> but I'm still doing it. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Um, you got your boy Chill up here. Um, doing a dip video on a on the infamous, actually, uh, Southern Blend Copenhagen, as a matter of fact. Um, I posted this picture on Facebook a couple of hours ago. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it, but um, but anyway, I had no idea that my tea store had it. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine that mentioned something to me about it, so I decided to pick up the telephone and I decided to call my tea store, and luckily they had it. So I had to go get me a can of it, and uh, I know a lot of you people are still waiting to get this right here and. This is my first time fooling with it. As you can tell, I haven't even, well, I don't know about the lighting. I turned off most of the lighting in, the lighting in here because um, it was hurting my eyes and shit all like that. And I really didn't want to have all these lights on. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing open. I'm trying so hard to pretend like I'm not hurting right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to put on my game face, so y'all y'all need to bear with my shit talk, okay? Y'all just bear with me now. Oh shit. Been wanting to try this. Like a lot of you people have. And uh, I'm gonna give me a big fat pinch of it. I know some of y'all so some of y'all sitting there and say that I take these baby ass pinches. That's not fucking true. That's not true as hell. Tell you what, see if I can. All right, okay, I'm gonna get like this side over here. There, are you happy now? I got me a big fat hog nut, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's not bad at all. Actually, it's kind of moist as hell. It's really moist. I give you a better. A better tasting I mean a better description as I go along with this but um uh will I buy another can of it oh yeah <laughs> this stuff right here is not really not bad at all actually it tastes pretty good uh, it's really moist uh, it's, it's got that it's, uh, I, I don't know if anybody else might say this, but I can sense that Copenhagen black kind of kind of deal to it. But it's, it, it's I mean, it's not exactly like Copenhagen black, but it's got that little that little zing to it. You know what I mean? If you've done Copenhagen black before and if you try this, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, I, I don't like to do like like dip reviews like most people like to do. But I just like to give my little opinion on it. And um so far, I'm really satisfied with it. Uh, it tastes pretty good. I like it. And uh, like I said, if if I had the chance to buy me another can of it, yeah, hell yeah, I would. But it's pretty good. Southern Blend. Southern Blend is in. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Man, let me tell y'all something. I have had a lot of stuff happen to the Chester 
um, within a week, <laughs> which was last week. Um, a lot of y'all know about it, you know, cause, you know, since I, um, I was in the hospital last week because I got really sick. And uh, the most ironic thing of it, uh, about it all was that I, I really thought that the whole thing was just stomach virus, you know. I, I had no idea that I had type 2 diabetes. I had no idea whatsoever, none. And I'm sitting here in the house killing myself, and I had the slightest idea. So, yeah, my life has changed dramatically. Um, there's a lot of things that I can no longer do anymore. And uh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for me because uh, I like my foods the way I used to uh, the way I used to eat it. You know, my soda pops and my apple juices and stuff like that. But all that is a no-no. You know, all that shit has been replaced with crystal light and all that old stuff. Which ain't too terribly bad, but... You know, you got to do what you got to do to live, you know, and um, my vision has gone bad. Um, prior to all this, my vision was great. You know what I mean? But now um, I can't I, I I can't even read the, the fine print that's on this dip can. I, I got to get some glasses. Um, I mean, it's just it's just a huge change. As a matter of fact, here's my um, my little tester that I have to use to test my blood sugar. And here's my little poker. That's what I call it. Because I had to poke myself in the fingers with this damn thing. And it hurts like hell. And um, here's my little syringe right here. That I had to poke myself in the ass. Well, not really in the ass, but in my belly. Um, I had to poke myself twice with that every day. And um, But like I said, it, it's it's just some changes that I got to deal with. Oh, shit. Where's my mud jug at? Oh, shit. <laughs> Spinning this bad boy right here is damn near full. I gotta empty it. But yeah, um, I had a lot of shit happen to me, but um, uh, I'm dealing with it uh, every morning. It's it, it's kind of rough getting up because uh, I hurt a lot all the time, and um, I'm hurting now. <laughs> but um, I just gotta deal with it until I get this thing under control. And you know you just gotta you just gotta keep on living and uh, keep going forward and keep doing the stuff that you used to do. Well, not exactly what you used to do, but you get the idea. Ah, uh, let's see what else I want to talk about. Um, you know what? Uh, I remember a long time ago, I was in the log the logging business. Okay, and I used to live like deep out into the country, and um, it, 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 I lived like, what, 15, 20 miles away from, from the job. And I didn't have a car back then because the car that I had, it, it messed up. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was really, really hard for me to get back and forth to work. And the only way that I could get back and forth to work was to catch a ride with other friends of mine, you know, at the place where I worked. But a lot of times they had to go out of my way just to take me home. I had to pay a shitload of money. To, to friends of mine to, you know, to take me home and shit out like that. And I was with uh, two really good friends of mine. They were pretty much in the same boat, you know. But anyway, to make a really long story short, there was this rinky-dink car lot. Okay, it doesn't matter where you live in the United States. It doesn't matter where you live at. Everybody knows a shady-ass, no-good, low-down, dirty, raggedy car lot. Okay, now we could have saved us some money and got some new car or or a pretty good decent vehicle, cause you gotta keep it. You gotta keep in mind I was really young back then, but we had to get transportation right then and there because you know it was just getting harder and harder. We just had to have a ride, you know, because when you live in the country, you got to have transportation. You got to have transportation to 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 go to town, to go shopping, to go. Um, to the laundromat if you don't have a wash and dry or whatever. You, you have to go to town to pay your bills and whatnot. You gotta have transportation. So what we did was we went to the shady car lot. Now we knew that the cars, they were good enough to do what you had to do. They're not really dependable to like to go to Panama City or to, or to go to Las Vegas or, or even go to Atlanta, you know, like on, on, um, on an every day or weekend basis and shit like that. It wasn't made for that. Damn, it's just more as hell. But um, I can't remember what car. I think it was. What car it was? 
it was a Toyota song. I think it was a Toyota to sell. Okay, that was the car I got. Now my other friends, they got some other some other two cars. I can't remember what the what the hell they were, but they was only good enough to do what we had to do. So one Friday when we all got off work, they come to my house and say, "Hey man, let's let's go mud riding. Let's go racing." I'm like, uh. In what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like I say, the, the, the rides that we got, we were shit out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, you, you don't do that. And I'm like, and I try to tell him, I said, look, man, y'all know these cars ain't worth, they really ain't worth shit. So, y'all can get out there and race them and, 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 and go mud or whatever you want to do. But I'm going to tell you, once once they get towed up, that's, that's going to that's gonna be your ass, okay? Because I'm not going to drive out my way to come pick y'all up to take y'all to work. I'm not going to do that. So they was calling me names, you know, saying that I'm weak and I'm soft and all this and blah, 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 blah. You know, nagging all those mess. I said, y'all go ahead on me. Y'all go ahead on So they took off and they went on ahead and they were like playing chicken and, and racing up and down these country ass roads and just tearing up the cars and, and, and all that shit. But anyway, a couple of days, a couple of days later, they're going to call me and tell us, hey, man, my motor locked up. <laughs> I'm like your motor locked up. I'm like, why you? What you telling me for? <laughs> I can't. I can't help you. <laughs> you know, and, and, and the other, I, I think one of the cars motors locked up, and the other one, um, the uh, what, the, some kind of joint or, or something went out, and I don't know, some kind of messed up. And uh, neither one of them had any money to fix it. Next thing you know, both of them want me to come pick them up and come take them to work, and then want to, and then want to give me no gas money either. Mm mm. Can't do that shit, though. Your ass gonna be walking. And then they want to get mad at me and saying that I'm dirty. No, uh, I'm not dirty because I told you flat out, you cannot take no five dollar car and expect to be evil Knievel and expect to not to tell. Okay, you can't do that. You know, man, when I was coming up, we used to do some serious, crazy stuff. But it seems like most of the time, I was the only one that had sense, okay? And my car, it, it, it kept on running. It, it didn't tear up or anything like that because I, I kept the oil changed and kept the filter changed and kept the tires up and, you know, and, you know, and just kept everything up to a point where it lasted until I messed around and got me a different vehicle, a better vehicle. I can't remember exactly what vehicle it was because you got to keep in mind that was a long time ago. But anyway, I still see those fools to this very day and they got new vehicles and stuff like that, but they still race them. <laughs> they still do that same shit. Man, this stuff is moist as hell. Because if you watch any of my earlier videos, or all my videos, you notice that I hardly ever spit in my videos. But in this video, you see me spitting a lot. That's because this Southern blend is really moist, really moist, um, really juicy. It didn't take long to juice up at all. I mean, it juiced up as soon as I put it in there. So I recommend for you to go get this. The Southern blend is really good. Uh, I put my stamp of approval on it, you know, and trust me, if I didn't like it, I'll sit there and I'll tell you I don't like it, you know. Because I'm not going to tell you to go get something that I personally wouldn't like myself. But, you know, everybody got a preference. I mean, that's a lot of dips that I like that some people don't like and vice versa. Uh, I'm a winning green guy. Now, I might not buy this every single day. I might not buy this all the time. But this right here makes a good change-up dip. Um, I recommend it. I had no idea that my tea store had it today. I found out, but I found out on the fly. So... Uh, it's going to be coming to your tea store or your Walmart or whatever near you pretty soon. Uh, some of y'all might get it later on this week, this weekend, maybe next week. I don't know. But um, I was really surprised that um, my tea store had it really quick. As a matter of fact, I really didn't know how long they had it. They probably had it last week and I didn't even know it. But um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, before I go, I just want to say thank you to all those who sent me that get well card on dip street i really do appreciate it i had quite a few of you a few of you call me when i was in the hospital talk to me and see how i was doing and stuff like that i really do appreciate it all you guys and girls 
Um, if you're not a member of Dip Street, you need to go to www.dipstreet.com. Uh, it's it's a, a page on Facebook's website. Uh, we have a really good time there, stuff like that. You need to go check that out. Uh, man, that's just about it for me. I'm really tired. I'm getting a headache right now. Um, I already tested my blood sugar and, and shot myself up with insulin prior to this video. So I'm getting a little tired. I want a soda. <laughs> I want a soda so bad. You have no idea I want one, but um, I know the consequences if I do. So I'm not going to do that. I did have a scare one day this week where my blood sugar got really low, dangerously low. I, I, I couldn't barely get out of bed. But um, by the grace of God, I got myself better. And um, and uh, here I am. <laughs> Okay, folks, I'm going to shut this thing off because I'm tired. Okay? So y'all take care. God bless. And always remember, it ain't worth Jack even though it's black. Y'all take care. I'm out of here. This is Chuff Fucker. Again, thank you, and I really do appreciate it. Peace out, y'all. See ya.